Hey, just a little bit of an update. Um, I finished moving the table around. Hey, everybody, this is going to be a, a quick up update. Um, I'm just going to back up. We have the table moved um, up against the wall. I just got done talking to Jerry about it. She suggested that I re pull the a table back away from the wall and put... Um, boxes of her of her um, Harry Potter stuff which takes up the most room and uh, back up against this wall and then put the table up against that that would still give me plenty of room floor space one night just that chair is going to get removed and get uh, put into in place of my office chair in the guest room um oops, sorry don't mean for the camera to be jerky I don't have full full control of, of everything. Um, but yeah, we are making headway. I should have this done tonight. Um, once I get it done, I will, you know, film the almost final stages. The final stages will, will happen after Jerry gets back because she and I are going to work on various little projects that I need her with, uh, her here with because it's dealing with some of her stuff. The good thing about this room is, I'm gonna turn off the light. As you can see with the light off, it, there's a lot of natural ambient light from the fact that this is a south facing window. So I will have lighting all year round, but for recording purposes and just working in here, I'm leaving that light on. I'm hoping once everything gets settled down here and we can figure out some little details might have to either find if we have it in the house or purchase it for cheap at walmart um a desk lamp or one other one or two other lamps um i like to do that <clears throat> so i don't have to have these on all the time because the hi-hats which basically is what i call those lights i call them hi-hats and they produce a lot of heat um, it's great for this time of year, especially when it's cold outside. Um, that, in fact, being a south facing south facing window, we get constant sunlight. So in the winter time, it's a little bit warmer than it would be in the guest room. In fact, the guest room is actually kind of cold unless I've got the heat cranked up. The only downside is during the summertime, I've only got one vent. Luckily, the vent will be right above my head. Um, but the summertime, this room will get very warm, even with the AC on. I have an old, um, well, it's not really old, it's still usable, but it needs to be cleaned up. Um, an old air purifier. And what's nice about that purifier, besides keeping the warm, the room um, as dust-free or pollen-free as possible while I'm in here, it blows cold air out the back. So if I position it just right, it will blow cold air on into the room, helping the room keep circulated so it doesn't get stuffy. Because um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this door open while I'm in here, because if we do what we wanna do shortly after Emily leaves, um, Diane and I are planning, planning on getting a kitten. Um, two reasons why. One is mom's cat is not very friendly towards Jerry Ann, um, as Jerry Ann would like. And two, while she's down visiting friends and family um, down south, Georgia and Texas, um, she got the pleasure and joy of playing with a couple dogs. Um, Lisa has two cats. One of them um, is very friendly towards her. And then... Um, Eden, who's uh, Lisa's oldest daughter, has two cats. I think she's got two cats. One of them is a um, marmalade, and her name is Nala. And Nala loves being petted, loves the attention and whatnot, which Jerry basically smothered the cat and Luna with attention and love and affection. And she, and she was talking to me about how therapeutic it felt. And I was like, well, let me talk to mom. I know we, we mom will say no to a dog right off the bat because mom doesn't want any dogs. But mom might say yes to um, 
another female cat in the house as long as the cat has been um, fixed. Mom also wanted us to get the cat declawed. I said, no, I won't go that far. Declawing is more is is something I won't do to any cat because claws are part of their defensive system. And mom was like, well, okay, if you don't mind the cat clawing on the furniture. And I said, well, first off, we'll get a scratching post and try to teach her how to use a scratching post. And second off, instead of getting her declawed, they've got these rubber little thingies that literally go on the cat's claws. And unless the cat like chews the, the rubber part off, it will help keep the cat from being able to actually dig into fabric or skin or things of that nature. But I'm happy so far. Um, I'm gonna make the, the adjustments that Jayanne and I just talked about and um, start fixing up this room for myself. I will give you an update soon. And I'll probably attach all the small videos together. Till next time. We'll see what happens. Hey everybody, this is a continued update on my progress in changing this over to my office. Um, I've got the table where I want it. I've got everything back in here that <clears throat> Jerry Ann and I talked about. I get everything kind of set up. Um, this will be the position that you'll see me in. I know this area right here is kind of um, cluttered because I'm not done trying to situate it, but what you see behind me right now is the H, the Infinite H cabinet from the Philippines I've been talking about. Um, that tapestry that I got for a gift um, that's in the guest room will be actually, I'm not gonna tack it to the H cabinet because I don't wanna put holes or anything like that. I'm gonna actually tack it using thumbtacks to the ceiling kind of hanging in front of it. So let me just show you what I decided that I'm gonna have in here, or at least what's on the table that I'm gonna have in here. Um, as you can see, I have primarily a lot of the books that I'm gonna be working on and my reach is not that far, so I'm not gonna be able to reach that far in, so I'm not too worried about putting stuff in front of it or stuff falling over the edge. But I have, I brought in here with me um, two of my favorite bookends. Jerry got these for me one year as a present. I'm gonna use those to keep the books upright instead of just laying flat on this table. I wish I had something to protect the table even though the table's already been scratched up. Um, of course, my date book, you know, my date books, uh, my journals, um, my calendar. Oh, I forgot to bring in my little clock because I don't have a clock in here. So I'm going to grab my little gold clock out of the um, guest room. The materials I work on constantly, this calendar, which I don't know why I run it in here, mostly pop probably because of the inspiration <clears throat> of course a comb to comb my hair with um let a letter opener in case i need to open any letters in here some incense for burning in here my incense burner um a bunch of pins and whatnot that i might be using in here thankfully jerry was going to get rid of this little spinny thing um, I won't use a side that's kind of broken and use a side that hold letters, but I can put my pins in here. Oop, that's upside down. My comb, the incense, so it's not just laying about on the table. One of my little notepads that I jot down messages or notes real quick. Some other notebooks and, and stuff that I work on. Yeah. Some rubber bands, never can tell if I'm gonna need them. But a variety of notebooks and whatnot and some book markers. Mm, well, I guess I will put that in there. But I've got a variety of things in here that I think I'm gonna need. I just have to organize everything now. Um, of course, knowing Jerry, which 
I will probably appreciate because she'll come in here and go, well, if you're going to have all these things, why don't you just rearrange it ever so slightly that it's not like, it's either A, not taking up, up everything. The thing is, what we, what Jerrianne and I had originally thought about doing, and that was before I knew I could shrink the table down, was to have like, one, one, one side of the table as like where I can do my um, drafting or D&D &D stuff and the other side for the puzzle, I, I got the puzzle in the upper corner up there. And I looked at the, the, the various spaces and I went, no, no, I think I'm going to do it my way, which might be a little bit unorthodox to, to Jerry, but to me it's, it looks perfectly fine because there's a couple things on the, um, there's one thing on the corner over here of the table that is not going to be here when when um we figure out what we're going to do with it or do more sprucing up um so there's it's i'll be honest with you it's still a working project it's probably going to take us another it might take us a little bit longer to get it finalized and and smoothed out but for the time being i know what i'm doing i know how i want to do it i want to be able to have what I'm working on in front of me and whatever I'm not working on just put off to the side because I mean for the most part my drafting stuff other than the giant drafting pad most of my stuff is contained in a small bag for drafting um <clears throat> My rulers, my pens, my my basic sh uh, small drafting paper, not the big pad. Um, as for my wait, this big old bag has got my my Dungeons and Dragons type stuff, which I would like to get more involved in because I like the chance to. Ooh, that's a heavy bag. I like the opportunities to to put aside all my worldly concerns, um, and I like to be able to. I'd like to be able to get it. Right now, it's kind of hard to do unless you want to try to do it online because there's not a lot of people who are do, well. There's not a lot of options for online play with other people, especially if they're in different parts of the country. I mean, at least not that I know of. I'm pretty sure there is plenty of people out there who play D&D um, via the internet with their friends right now because of COVID. Um, so I'm kind of like, yeah, I would, um, I'd like to be in, you know, get involved in that. I'm oh, sorry. Um, but for the meantime, I'm just going to try setting up my area here. And then I'm going to be done for the day. And tomorrow will be finalized cleaning. Just basically the finalized cleaning. Um, any kind of cleaning or whatnot that needs to be done in the guest room. Jerry asked me to go into the guest room and basically strip the bed and put flannel sheets on there for Emily because Emily's used to Texas where it's warm. And Emily's going to get a little bit of a shock when she gets up here and I hope she's got some... Hopefully she's got some warm clothes. If not, she might have to um, borrow one or two of my warm or warmer jackets and look like... Um, she's wearing a bag because she is she is small frame uh, basically is how I'm gonna put it I don't want to call her skinny but she's yeah uh last time I did see her and after she had been away for a long time and I hadn't seen her for years I looked at her and went somebody get this poor girl a sandwich she needs to put some meat on her bones um but that, of course, was also before she had three kids. So, who knows? But she's a good friend. I, I mean, I've known her since she was a... 
Did I meet her when she was still a toddler? I know Eden was... Eden was still in elementary school. I don't remember how old Emily was. Um, I just know that she's a young mom. Um, but that's, that's a different, that's something I don't want to talk about because it's, I don't want to talk about somebody else, uh, uh, and their, and, and whatnot, um, because they might consider it too personal. I just know Emmy is a good person. She's got a good heart. I love the fact that she's still friends with Jerry Ann. Um, of course, I didn't think they'd ever not be friends due to just personality and whatnot and um the fact that Jan probably helped Lisa change both Emily and Eden's diapers and now um she's helping them change helping Eden and Emily change um their uh, their kids diapers which is in some ways cool in some ways it's like oh wow I did not know we knew them that long but let me just um, go ahead and end this for now. I will, once I finish up in here, I will um, give you a finalized look at what I did. Until next time, which should be shortly. Well, here we are, folks. I am actually done in here. It didn't take me very long. Granted, I took my time, so I wasn't, like, trying to cram it all into a small period of time. I basically stretched out throughout the day. That way, I didn't feel like I was wearing myself a little thin. She, you know, and got the tapestry up. Got the desk area done. I am basically... About 99.9% .9 good to go. I would like to get something to put, you know, something I can customize to go on top of this table because it's an old table and you can see the wear and tear on it, the different marks and scuffs and stains that it's either I can go and, I don't know about sanding it, but I can go and like repaint it if I wanted to get like a, a dark cherry wood or something like that. I'd rather put like either, well, no, I don't know about a tablecloth because if I go to do drafting or 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 anything else like that, um, I need need something that's not gonna shift with the motions of my um, drafting stuff. I mean, other than the factor, it's still got a lot of things, little, little fine details that I need Jerry Ann's help with because, um, she's got more of an eye for decor or decorating. I have more of, this is what I want. Can we make it work type deal? But I am pretty much finished in here. Um, I can't wait for Jerry Ann to get back to see it. Um, if, unless I face timer, which I might do, <coughs> but we'll see. Anyhow, this is my semi-finished redo of the dining room into my personal space. Um, hopefully I can do more work once Jerry Ann gets here and we can, um, work on, um, either getting rid of some of the glassware, or getting rid of some of the unneeded extra stuff. We have um i don't want to call it junk because it's not junk somebody might need flower bases somebody might need candy dishes somebody might need you know little jars like this almost mason jar type thing but not totally um maybe jerry will let me start doing what i we talked about doing which is like taking pictures of the stuff that we want to get rid of and put it up on the um um, AOL Marketplace and see what happens. Don't know. Um, the future holds a lot of unknowns and that's the fun thing about the future is, is moving forward to find out what those unknowns are and trying to work with them. So, 
this will be the end of this little video. Um, granted, it's three different videos in one. But I am finished for the time being. So I will say, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and put them in the question comment box. If you are new to my channel and want to subscribe, go right ahead and click on the little icon for subscribing and then the uh, bell icon for, for uh, to have YouTube let you know when I put in a new video. Until next time, God bless and have a good day. Bye.